Tasker now has a new feature called Widget V2. It's a new totally customizable widget that you can use with Tasker. Let's try it out. So if you add this to your home screen, you'll see that it asks to be configured so you can give it a name. If you configure it, you'll go to this screen, which is uh, visually not finished, but I'll get to that later. But for now, let's call this widget Hello World. Okay. Now it tells you to configure the contents inside Tasker. So let's do that. Open Tasker. And I already have a task here called Hello World Widget, which uses the, the new Widget V2 action and allows you to select the widget by its name. So if you go here, you can see that I already have four widgets. But in this case, I want to configure the Hello World one. And I also can select the layout. Layouts are predetermined, pre-made uh, layouts made by me that I'll add to the app, that I'll keep adding more and more to the app. But uh, for now, to start off, we have four layouts. Buttons, media, circular image, and custom. Let's first start with the buttons, which is the simplest one. And this is just a list of buttons, as the name implies. The buttons can be images and text, or just images, or just text, depending on what you configure down here. So in this case, let's start with something very simple. It's just a text saying hello world, and then the color of the text is white. It's shown by this HTML color here. So if I run this, now the widget changes, and it says hello world, just like you, config you configured it. You may notice that it doesn't have a background. It doesn't have anything else other than what you configured. And as you may notice, this configuration also says that the tasks associated with this widget is say hello world. This is a task that I already created, already, uh, also already created, which is here. And it simply does hello world. So if I run that, if I click that widget, hello world you can hear that it says hello world. So that's a very easy way to make your widgets do what you want. Just say which task you want to run when you click it. So this is a very uh, simple example, but let's check out a slightly more complex example. I have the buttons widget here, which is a, a list of buttons. It uses the buttons layout, as you can see here. What it does is it gets the last five apps I used and then uses a widget to show these apps. As you can see, it simply lists the app icons here under images. And under commands, it lists the app packages, package names, which, is, which are like uh, IDs for, my, for the apps. And then this is associated with the command prefix launch app. And what this does is it, it does the list of apps, which look like this, by the way. And for each app, it uses that prefix, launch app, and then the package name. So in practice, when you click each icon, what it does is it sends a, um, a command to Tasker, starting with launch app, and then equals call and equals, and then the package name. That triggers this profile which simply uses the app action, the launch app action to open the app with the package name in question. So when you do that, when you click any of these icons, it opens the app. So as you can see, in three simple actions, I can create a recent app launcher on my home screen, like this. As I mentioned before, there's also a media um, widget, a media layout in the widgets. And I've created a simple example here. And what this does is something like this. When a, a music app or a media app is played, this widget automatically 
will update to the app that is playing. So let's start by playing, for example, Spotify here. Um, let's play here. The widget also works, obviously. So this is now Spotify playing. But if I go here and start playing on YouTube Music, you can see that the widget automatically updated to YouTube Music. The icon updated and all the info updated as well. So this is a very handy way of not having to have multiple media widgets on your home screen and only have one widget that automatically updates with whatever is playing. I've also included this button that allows you to easily switch between the two apps. So if you click this, Spotify starts playing again. And if you click this again, YouTube Music starts playing again. So this is the media widget. It has this layout, a, a, a big image at the on the left, and then small images on the bottom here, with each can do where each can 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 do anything you want. And it has a title and a text up here. Now, last but not least, certainly not least, because this is my absolute favorite is the custom widget. The custom widget might change how you create widgets with Tasker because it simply allows you to do anything, anything you want. It might, granted it might not be the easiest one to use because basically you have to define your screens like this, but after you get used to the structure, it's not really that bad. You just, for example, define a box and in that inside that box you have a column and then inside that column you have a row and then etc etc et then you have some text and some other text and in the end you can create something like this this is the widget that's defining that custom layout light right there and this is the existing Google Calendar widget which I tried to replicate here it's not exactly the same but it's close enough, but in a, with a little more effort, maybe you can make it exactly the same. But it's just to show you how a custom layout can, cre can create any kind of layout you want. Just combine the existing uh, building blocks like box, column, row, text, image, and so on. And then in the end, you can create any kind of layout that you want. I can't wait to see what the community creates with layouts because this is also very easy to share. You just share this task with someone and then allow them to to in, to put their data inside it instead of your data so anyone can use your widgets that you create and make the home your home screen really customizable and dynamic. Of course this is Tasker so any of these buttons can do anything you want. For example, if I click this, add event. it says add event. It can do anything else I want. <clears throat> so this is the new widget v2 action and widget v2 widget that Tasker now has that allows you to customize your home screen to heights you've never seen before. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.